How's it going, fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? My God, my God, we have some news for you. The Detroit Red Wings are going to have a scary top defensive line in a couple years. Because man, oh man, Simon Evanson is having a breakout season over in the SHL. Like, even the biggest fans of him at the draft, I don't think expected this kind of performance, literally just next season. Even in an article by Sports Illustrated, they have said Detroit once again pulled off what appears to be a steal already. But before we get into the video, I want to give a shout out to Row2Rooter. We hit the 1000 subscriber mark about two months ago and want to start thanking you guys for making the Rebbing Nation community a community. So if you want to get a shout out, make sure you subscribe and join this wonderful channel. Back to Simon Evanson. Yes, the towering 6 foot 5, 207 pound monster of a defenseman that went 6th overall in the previous draft to the Detroit Red Wings is having a breakout season. Currently, Evanson sits at 1 goal, 8 assists for 9 points in 16 games played, which leads all U21 defensemen in the SHL as an 18 year old. Just to give a comparison to Sider's historic season last year, he recorded 28 points in 41 games played for Rogla in the SHL. Using Edvinson's current points per game rate over 41 games would put him at roughly 23 points. Not bad for an 18 year old to be even remotely close to last year's SHL Defenseman of the Year, Defenseman of the Tournament at Worlds, oh and NHL Rookie of the Month in October plus being just under a point per game right now for the Detroit Red Wings. Now, of course, Edmondson still has to finish the rest of the season at that pace. But for me, this situation is the opposite of Cider. See, Edmondson very well could have gone ahead of Owen Power in this draft because of how good his stick handling and overall offensive play is. But his defensive side and decision making was lacking, even in Junior 20 competition. But right now, Edmondson sits at a whopping plus seven. To give another comparison, Albert Johansson, another Detroit Red Wings prospect a lot of people are excited about, currently sits at a minus 6. Sure, plus minus is not the best indicator, but it's the best stat we can use for it. Plus, right now, Folunda is a top of the league, and Fargested, where Johansson plays, is 8th out of the 14 teams in the SHL. Also, it's not like Edmondson is being played in only offensive situations. He plays just a tad under 20 minutes a game, sitting right now at 19 minutes and 42 seconds a night. All this to say, early returns for Edmonton is very good. So what does this mean for the Detroit Red Wings, other than we have a really good defenseman coming soon? Well you see, one of the biggest holes in the Detroit Red Wings system is left handed defenseman. It is being fixed and this last draft helped that a lot but it's still not as strong as the right side that houses Sider, Hronik, Stetcher, Lindstrom, Albert Johansson, and more in the system. So to say the Detroit Red Wings didn't really have a prospect or player that was good enough or looked good enough to possibly take the top defensive line and make it really dangerous wasn't a stretch. But with Evanson, who is left-handed, tall, strong, and can rack up the points, Mix that with Cider, who is once again tall, wicked strong, and can rack up the points as well. All of a sudden, you have a line that is very dangerous and can win games for you, just like the top forward line of Bertuzzi, Larkin, and Raymond. Even in that Sports Illustrated article by Ryan Kennedy we talked about earlier, he alerted to this, saying, Frolunda's fans can watch the 6'5", 207-pounder help their team try for another title this year, and the Detroit faithful can daydream of a time in the not so distant future when an Edmondson cider pairing is dominating their blue line. So yeah, most likely if Edmondson keeps up with his pace, he will sign his entry level contract after the SHL season wraps up. Maybe he comes over and plays with the Griffins depending on when his team gets eliminated in the playoffs or if they win the championship. Most likely we will see him at training camp next year and then depending on how well they think Edmondson is doing, he will either be in Grand Rapids or head back to Frolunda for another season of development. Or who knows, maybe he surprises like Raymond and makes the team out of camp. 
What do you think of Edmonton? Let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed to be a community of Red Wings fans that could come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. That way we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you are a Red Wings fan, if you are a hockey fan, if you're just a great person, make sure you subscribe and join this wonderful community. And until next time, lights on the Red Light District.